brought all the money that I had from Sweden, sold everything I had, and moved here. So um, then you had to use that only. Uh, it was an adventure. We, uh, Roger, Martin, and I, we sat in a basement in the Donghu district in Taiwan. Uh, no air conditioning, basically in our shorts. And Roger lived on the first and second floor, so we had to pass by his living room to go down to the basement. We had a lot of flooding for typhoons. We used to have to swim to McDonald's when they, before they closed because of the typhoons. It's more rewarding to to see uh, products like this, maybe compared to general things, it helps people. It's not all about the money. It's like, I really want to develop things that help people uh, around the world. And he said it half looking at me, half just dreaming into the future, what that could be like. I looked at him and it's like, yeah, he's serious. Uh, at that time, the SHL dealt with many products, and one of them was a hospital lifting sling that needed to be produced in China to be cost-effective. When we set up, and during the production, I was in China very, very often to really see that product become better than what they could produce in UK. Well, uh, you know, you looked at factories in Europe and see, you know, how they were set up. So I thought, you know, we need to have that as well. And in those days here in Taiwan, it was it was unusual. The reason to to be in Sweden and to be in the United States was that you had to be really close to the customer. When you were fairly unknown, you couldn't expect people to come to Taiwan and do business with you. In China at that time, and it was a whole different level. They were asking them to do a quality level that they haven't seen before. Produce something of a medical grade textile go goods was uh, quite the challenge. But it was uh, it, it was fascinating because we had to make the impossible possible in a way. But also starting up R and D, product management, product management. Well, basically everything you need around the factory with production and R and D. So the Pending Deck 225 project started with a lot of discussions between SHL and the customer. Since there was very little knowledge in the business about medical devices and especially auto injectors. Frank Isaacson was one of the major key architects behind Pen Inject. We försökte naturligtvis att sätta oss in i användarens situation och försöka bemöta alla problem som som man som man stöter på. 2004 SHL Technologies was established. There was a decision made that uh, we should make a better use of the existing capacities, increase our capabilities to be engineered and manufactured in Taiwan. I wanted to buy European expensive machinery. Everyone thought it was not necessary. It's quite difficult to get material to each machine uh, in a sensible way. So that's why we, we try to think of a more high-tech system. And Morten was there and they supported us. We overcommit on whether it's timelines or maybe the maturity of the product that we're selling. Uh, so there can be some trust issues there. But I would say that we're, we've been pretty good at rebuilding most of those. We're always there. We're looking to help in, in any way that we can. The goal for setting up SHL Pharma was to get customers to clinical trials as soon as possible. Our customers at the time had challenges getting other contract manufacturers to assemble and test devices in the time frame that they needed. Empowering means, you know, I, I let people do mistakes. People need to take decisions, maybe two or three out of ten decisions uh, are wrong, so therefore you can learn. If people don't dare to take decisions, you can't see what are your, your capabilities. They thought that, come on, a, a newcomer Asian company won't be able to do that. A few days later I got the call that Wow, you guys can do something over there. Our measurements are actually much better than we ever have had before. That's how we started to be involved in neurosurgery equipment manufacturing. And uh, it's also, as of today, uh, is uh, one of our key accounts. 
The disposable auto injector, the dye platform, has certainly been uh, our main product. So seeing the dye platform grow from when I knew it 15 years ago to what it is today has been, been quite impressive. And the number of products that we've, we've produced in, over the years in dye have been a very key product for, for SHL success. We need to measure our product's quality, and even customer commitment. It's about the products we deliver. They have to be right. I mean, it's people out there we're helping every day. It has to be everyone buying in on the quality management system. It should be combined with production. Is actually one, and you repeat and repeat and repeat until it becomes a mindset. The benefits with a standardized concept with a Molly is that when we have a new customer, we can then offer a predictable solution to them in terms of timelines for their activities, like their clinical studies, their validation activities, and their launch activities. We did our platform development in a way where we can leverage our documentation, our test methods, and a lot of the work that's already been done at a platform level for our customers. This should help us a lot in developing devices much more quickly. We have always been innovative. It's very important to keep on top of the trends by assessing new technology and to understand what we can do with new technology to solve uh, problems and to satisfy our customer needs. 你的員工也好,或者是在團隊團隊之間如何去互動,然後透過不管是我們有新的一個工作平台,然後新的工作流程跟模式,那希望這個過程之中其實就是讓大家慢慢去感受到說,其實在跟隨的改變,甚至是如
The future of SHL is connected and collaborative. Better connected. The success of our customers. It's innovation. We're very driven. Uh, we lead the way.